Sagittarius, Sagittarius. A Sagittarius, Sagittarius. O Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Out Sagittarius, Sagittarius. A what's up, Saggy baby? What's going on in the life of a Sagittarius for the month of April, 2019? Hmm. Hmm. Are you guys in this place of reflection? In this place of gratitude, when I actually meditated on your energy, there was a few things that I picked up, but we're definitely going to talk about it. Hey, boo, hey, this is your first time you're on my channel? I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time you're on my channel, look out. I cuss. I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot. It just depends on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader on YouTube uh, that can further assist you guys without cussing. Because me, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to chop and screw that. Ooh. <laughs> it's my birthday season. I'm feeling some type of way. Okay. Um, this is for my Summer Rising Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for the sign of Sagittarius. To my new subscribers, welcome to the family. Y'all, we all are dysfunctional. We don't fight. We don't fuss. We lead that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss. We grow. We love. We share. We enlighten. Okay. We evolve. Posy vibes only over here. Returning family. What's up? I know. I missed y'all too, damn it. What's going on? This month, I will be doing mid-months. I did have to pull back and actually give me a little me time, give me a little reflection time. I'm only human. It's one little old me, and I go through shit too. You know, if don't nobody know, if don't nobody feel me, I know Sag, you feel me, because you guys know what it's like, just like Aries, to carry the weight of the motherfucking world on your shoulders, whether people see it or not, okay? Um... This is a general reading. It's not personal. If you need a personal reading, that information will be found in the description. Y'all look out for sales because it's my birthday season. I'm feeling real good. So a lot of sales are going to be coming randomly and they're going to be very fast, like kind of flash sales. So definitely be paying attention to your community tab and your notifications. Um, what else? Oh, you guys, take what resonate, leave the rest. Okay, if the sh damn shoe don't fit, the motherfucker too big, don't try to make it fit. Yeah, it's going to fall. Okay, you're going to fall the fuck on your face. And I don't like to fall. I don't know about you. Okay, they don't feel too damn good. All right. Um, <laughs> thank you all for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments. It really means a lot to me. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. You guys, I'm growing. Thank you, y'all. We growing as a family. I looked at those numbers because like, y'all ain't wrong gonna lie. I really don't give a damn about the numbers. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I, mean, I, I love what I do, and I do what I love. I love people. You know, I love being able to connect with you all. I love that fact that you're a part of my family. The fact that and I'm thankful for the fact, for the fact that you support me. So, thank you so much. Um, you guys, whew, this retrograde in Pisces, we ain't gonna, we, it was all about the illumination of every aspect of ourselves. So there were moments and there were death, there were faded moments, okay, that the universe sent in order to trigger us, um, and remind us of things from the past or with it, but we have some type of unfinished business. I'll tell anybody, if you still cry when you tell the story, you still got some work to do. When you're telling a story and you, and you find yourself bursting out in tears, you still got some internal work to do. And there's nothing wrong with that, okay? We put so much pressure on ourselves trying to get to the level of the next person. And it's not about a level. It's about the understanding before you can even get to the, uh, get to the ascending and the acceleration part. So as we all go through this journey, in our own time, um, in our own divinity, in our own sovereignty, I definitely feel that um, a lot of us got to stop placing so much judgment on ourselves, period, okay? So we're going to start with the intuitive messages for the sign of Sagittarius for April, okay? What I received for you guys intuitively while meditating on the energy was faded meeting, stalking, dreams, Synchronicity, harmony, balance, strategy, calculating, life cycles, forgiveness, wealth, new love, karmic closures, engagement, compromise, legalities, confessions, Scorpio, wealth. Life cycles, inheritance, Pisces, Taurus, Cancer, Aquarius, vandalism, new business, thief, Virgo, Capricorn, rejection, trust issues, letting go, and desires. Okay? 
So that's what I picked up for the sign of Sagittarius. Let's talk about it. All right. Um, the angel message that you guys pulled for this month was courage. Archangel Ariel. It says, be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. Okay, so this is definitely not a time for Saggies to be quiet. I definitely feel like a lot of you guys hold, like I said, hold the weight of the world. And a lot of you all, you're you're speaking out for people who really don't see your work. You're speaking up for yourself. And you're, showing your, you're in this place of showing yourself respect. If you can't fucking respect me, I'm going to lead by example and show you how to do it, boo. And in some cases, it requires handing motherfuckers the scissors based on their actions but it's not about just handing the scissors and just skating forward it's about making people aware because you guys are in this place where you're shifting perception you all someone there is someone um thank you spirit some of y'all are being i have a message for um and i don't know if someone prayed about it or prayed to be shown this because i feel like maybe um Maybe you weren't really sure whomever this is. Um, I th There is someone, I'm picking up two things, and both of them have to do with stalking, okay? There is a green Honda that I'm seeing. This Honda is like an older Honda, okay? The windows may be tinted on it, okay? But I feel like there, there is a female that drives this car. This female um, is attached to another male, okay? However, this I feel this, this is a sticky situation because... Whomever this is, there's a green hunt. The spirit is saying it's for a few of you all, actually. Um, and ironically, the, the, the synchronicities of the car being for a few of y'all is crazy. Um, but there's someone stalking you in a green hunt. I feel like this could be the spouse of someone else. There's uh, two other vehicles that I pick up. They're showing me also a red Ford Focus. Um, this this will be a newer vehicle, and I feel like this car will be someone who's attached who's who's attached to a male. This male could have been someone who uh, you could have a family with, who you could have moved away from, and this person uh, maybe you figured that this person could never find you, or I'm hearing released. Okay, so this person could have gone to jail, um, and maybe you felt like. You could have felt as if, you know, felt that person's energy and maybe, you you know, you thought you was tripping. But for some of you all, especially if you have, um, there's three children that I'm picking up connected to this male. There's an older one that looks to be about 12 years old. Um, there is one in the middle that looks to be like about nine. And there's one that looks to be anywhere between three or four, anywhere between two and four. Okay, because I know cause some children are taller than others. Um, I'm also picking up... Some of y'all are talking to your ancestors like I feel like you're sitting outside talking to your ancestors. And for some of you all, I don't know if this is like 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 asking them to help you in a situation. Some of you all I'm hearing this is an emotional cry. This is like, you know, how do I do this for some of you all? You could be connecting with your ancestor through some type of telepathic telepath like sometimes you're, you're jumping i'm hearing jumping rims jumping rims so you guys could be jumping rims or you guys could be um connecting with your ancestors in a way for some of you all you have the gift of mediumship but you really haven't really tuned into it because you've been so uh distracted by the outside noise of the 3d world okay so spirit is saying that you really needed to take that time so if things are falling down around you it's not happening to you yet for you and it, and i'm hearing progression you're going to have momentum soon however I do feel that the reason why things are sticking still with that is simply because there's a lesson that you need to learn. Like there's some unfinished business that you need to go back um, and kind of like take care of for some of you all. OK, and I feel like in that un in that unfinished business, your ancestors are saying within that unfinished business, all the things that you are praying about lies within the way that you react or the way that you respond to that particular unfinished business so that has to do with the faded meat and thank you spirit um for some of you all you, if you have a water sign child uh, uh preferably a boy um and i feel like this child is going to be an adult child you 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 haven't been talking to this to your child your child separated away from you because you guys uh were you, you were you <sighs> You got you raised this child to be very religious, okay? And now you're getting to the space where you're going through your own awakening to kind of see things differently, yet you haven't spoken to your child due to uh, there being some type of pride. Uh, I'm also hearing an air sign child, um, Gemini Libra Aquarius child. Um, you haven't spoken to your child when they're due to there being some type of pride. This is for the adult child. Um, it's your child wants to tell you that they're having a um 
they're having conflict with kind of figuring out one what they believe in and where their values lie and two as well as with their sexuality they want to reach out to you but they're they're afraid of judgment and i feel like that that is going to trigger something within you because i feel like whomever i'm talking to you also have some form of a fear of judgment around that child okay which is why it's like uh i would rather kind of like not talk to you okay versus actually find amending offenses um and then for the second group of you who have the air sign child, I feel like this could have to do with the parents. Maybe you and this parent um, have not talked. Spirit is saying some of you guys are uh, worried about, and I feel like whomever this is, maybe you haven't talked to this person in quite some time. Um, and they're not showing me faces, actually. They're just showing me, like, a lot of people, actually. So this could go for a lot of people. Um this is also, they said fire with fire. So this could be two fire signs, had an air sign child. Um, I feel like this child was actually born to be um, some type of like harmonizer or come as some type of harmony for some type of faded past life union for one, for, 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 for that's, that's the first kicker to that. For two, I feel like there's a pride. There needs to be an ego death for you and this person, you and this person to reconcile because I feel like for some of you all, you're losing sleep. You're dreaming a lot about this person. And thank you, Spirit. They say that has, it has to do with that unfinished business, okay? we 11 minutes in and so much stuff is coming in for Sagittarius. I feel like you guys have been all over the place in thought, okay? Spirit message for the month. Some of you guys could be, um, some of you guys could actually be going into the month of April actually focusing on, some of you guys are working on gardening. Some of you guys are actually acknowledging your shadow selves. You're actually able to catch yourselves in the midst of those moments. And that's where the realization kind of comes into play in the month of April. Some of you all, um, some of y'all got a download coming. For those of you who are gardeners, some of you all may also be planting your own, um, some of you all may, in the month of April, the first half, some of you all may be thinking about becoming vegan, okay? Some of you all may be also growing your own fruits and vegetables because you had some type of telepathic connection or some, or some type of dream or prophetic dream that we're going to go into some form of recession. You guys, I'm going to go ahead and be real. I've dreamt that a few times, all right? I don't feel like people want to too much talk about it, but we need to talk about it. The reason why spirit, God, Gaia, you know, whatever you whatever you connect to, okay? The reason why there is, there is uh, kind of like a placing together, a shifting that is placing things where they're supposed to go is because, y'all, we're going to move into some very turbulent times. And pride and ego and things of that nature, y'all, that shit will not help you survive, period, okay? So if this is someone, and also for some of you all, um, you some of y'all have some type of connections to daisies, for some of you all, um, some of you all, spirit is intervening with some type of relationship or some type of partnership that's going to bring some type of healing or expansion um, to the heart chakra, okay? And for some of you all, again, this is destined, okay? For some of you all, this is destined. I feel like for some of you all, this has to do with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. For some of you all, there is um, a focus on your life path, what it is that you're supposed to be doing. And I feel like if you move forward towards that abundance, and for some of you all during this time, Spirit is saying, do not tell people your damn plans because everybody will not be happy for you. Pay attention to the motherfucking best for sex. Because it takes the same amount of energy to tell somebody congratulations as it does to say, that's what's up. Bullshit. Write they, write they name down. And the motherfucker who keep disrespecting the game, put a star by it. You know, got to put a star by you because you uh, got to watch you from a third's eye. Yeah. Okay. But some of you all, some of you all, um, some of you all are working on your sacral chakra during this time. I feel like this is for some, this is for the high priestesses that I'm connecting to. Some of you all are coming to, um, coming to learn about your ancestry during this time your ancestry may also be coming back to you and kind of showing you how to showing you depictions of like so some of you guys could also be dipping back and forth from this life into past life that could be the jumping realms okay for some of you all you you're 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 ciphering through past lives during the month of april during this time to assist you in actually aligning things here within the 3d some of y'all are hella connected to your higher selves okay and I feel like for some of you all, okay, thank you, Spirit. Okay, I ain't gonna lie, the Spirit message, they want it to be about love. I, 
Okay, and some of you all, there's there's going to be some type of activation or some type of assistance um, with having a conversation. Some of you all, there's an issue with the throat chakra. Some of you all may also be prone to um, prone to like sore throats and things of that nature during this time. A lot of you all really need to um, really, really, really need to um, digest a lot of vitamin C. For some of you all, what's preventing a soulmate, a faded partnership that is actually destined, okay? And they, thank you. They say it has a connection to that, to those, to that child that I spoke about. That could be a Gemini Libra Aquarius, okay? Especially with this air, the bird being an overseer, okay? Connecting with the air. I definitely feel like for some of you all, some of y'all, some of y'all are using the stars during this time to manifest things. So there is some type of alignment in the stars that is assisting in some type of destined, fated um, union or partnership. I definitely feel like there are aspects. Some of you guys are not wanting to see things for what they are. And for some of you all, you know that there is going to be some type of ending coming. Some of you all, there needs to be. Some of you all are not able to interpret your dreams during this time, and some for some of you all because there is um, some type of imbalance within the sacral chakra that's being healed right now. Some of you guys may be seeing seeing things from a negative aspect. It's a, it's like spirit doesn't want you to claim defeat before you actually go and fight the war. I think I don't know. I forgot what other sign I told this early. I believe it was Libra, but I feel like for some of you all, there is a need for you to perceive things differently. Be willing to take the rose-colored glasses off and see your wrongs as well as another person. Because I definitely feel like there's a perception shift coming to. How you see yourself and how you how you really see yourself, even in the people who you deal with, even the, in the people in your environment, your family, your friends. You're really kind of seeing you come to that conclusion of that or that uh, pretty much of that saying that you are what you attract. And for some of you all, your perception is shifting around some some type of soulmate relationship or some type of family structure or some type of like divine union. OK, I feel like things are coming um, into full circle, coming into alignment. Some of you all during this time may be seeing a lot of butterflies. Y'all have a pouring of esoteric information. Some of you all may also be manifesting things using geometric or alchemic symbols during this time or like manifesting money using um, like sigils. Some of you all, there has been some type of transformation for those of you waiting waiting on a twin flame, a life partner, a soulmate, a past life partner. It seems like there is some type of alignment going on with some type of union coming to fruition or being manifested. Something something that is fated is coming. Something that is destined is coming into harmony. Okay. But I feel like you or the other person, there is a choice to be made, okay? Because I definitely feel like for some of you, if you choose to find that harmony within yourself and do the inner work, I definitely feel like spirit has a blessing on the other side. For some of you all, it's actually going to move you through the door of enlightenment, okay? For some of you all, you've been through this space of not speaking your truth. And you've been in this place as well in the past, you know, where you not speaking your truths have made you feel as if you're guilty or made you feel like resentment towards your past and made you feel as if you were you were less than or you were not worthy enough but there is if you choose to move forward and not have this fear of the unknown and stop fucking telling people your plans so they can project that damn fear on you of why you should not move forward in your past, whatever that may be, whether that's love, your career, your family structure, healing, ancestral ties, thank you spirit ancestral cycles ties to ancestral cycles some of you all have a soul contract that you have to fulfill around family it has to do with family and abandonment okay and for some of you all you're getting a, you're gaining a deeper knowledge and under gaining a deeper understanding of cycles and how cycles have gone within the family okay for some of you all um some of y'all could also be learning um or teaching yourself um, who using marijuana to do magic? They got smoke magic. The fuck? I'm not to look into that. That's one I'ma write down. Sagittarius doing smoke magic. They smoking them. They smoking that Molly Molly to manifest them. Just y'all smoking for y'all get on y'all ritual shit. 
some of you all some of you all are expanding your knowledge when it comes to esoteric esoteric matters as far as the occult there's a massive shift and a massive healing that's going on with you guys in heart chakra Alright, so let's get into love because we 20 minutes in. Y'all got y'all gonna make them Aries cut me, okay? Spirit, what messages do you have? My beautiful Sagittarius. Someone rising Venus as well as the crossfires. What can they expect their love for the month of April? Okay. Some of you all, there's a desire to move forward, possibly towards the mother or the father of your child, okay? I definitely feel like for some of you all, you want to move forward and actually move forward towards some type of business endeavor or some type of life um, life path that's actually going to bring you abundance if you do move forward, in them, okay? I feel like for some of you all, some of you all are feeling burdened. Bur are feeling burdened regarding moving forward towards somebody. This could be a fire sign, every field that theory. This could be someone you or the other person could have left someone out in the cold, okay? Or uh, left someone feeling a lack of or some form of abandonment. And I feel like this is mutual. Uh, what you don't know, Sag, I feel like is that both parties actually felt this way. And in order to truly release your burdens and get to this point of a full releasing, okay, there needs to be movement forward. But because this came out in the reverse, and you know, I don't fucking read reverses for spirit said leave it so I did I feel like there is thoughts about it but when the thoughts come up when the thoughts actually surface about it somebody gets in this damn state here where they can only feel it they, they, they don't they don't really see the abundance in the situation here with the Empress they don't really see the abundance in how things can be recreated and re transformed okay because I definitely feel like Somebody could have moved on from somebody, all right, who really needed to do a little bit more living in the world or really needs to gain a bit more experience. It just really didn't. I feel the energy of somebody possibly wanted commitment or wanted to create something in the past. Someone didn't want that. Someone could have actually left someone out. Somebody could have actually left a, a thank you spirit. Someone could have also left out a child or left out like the mother or father of their children. And I feel like this goes back to their own youth. Uh, possibly you or this other person could have some form of abandonment issue that has to do with that ancestral cycle. Thank you, Spirit. Some of you all are um, either you or the other person. This could definitely have to do with the fire sign, Aries, Neil, Sagittarius, because there's a lot of fire here, okay? But I definitely feel like either you or this other person is kind of feeling on guard, okay? About making a decision regarding possibly resurrecting a family situation or actually coming to some type of agreement or some type of harmony within a family structure for some of you all and, and, and it's kind of sad that that is having to be that way because for some of you all this is preventing you from moving forward in love okay possibly with a water sign cancer pisces scorpio for some of you all this has to do with a leo this definitely has to do with the child or some form of like renewal or newness okay because i definitely feel like you or another person in the month of April will be in this new energy. You're moving out of this place of feeling as if you have to be on guard or feeling as if you got to look over your shoulder, you know, because someone is coming in to make you feel less than or make you feel as if, you know, you're not enough. I do feel that in the month of April, especially with the first half, things will be triggered. You will, some of you all will be meeting people, okay, and we'll be dealing with people. It could be also, this could be going on right now, I'm hearing, but I feel like some of you all will be actually making connections with people who will remind you of um, that unfinished business. So I definitely feel like with that, it's a time of healing, baby, for the new. You're healing for the new because you have new beginnings in love for some of you all. New beginnings as far as family. Some of you all may be finding out about a pregnancy. And some of y'all could be finding out that you're pregnant by someone who could have walked away from you in the past. Or who you could have recently walked away from, which could have been a very burdensome situation. And I feel like you or this other person, there's a fear of someone being judgmental or being resistant. And for some of you all, this is making you have to address some form of abandonment issue. Okay. For some of you all, this could have to do with the water sign who you have a child with, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, who could have abandoned your child. This person wants to come in and offer this news. They just don't, they, they're expecting this. Okay. They're expecting this fight. They're expecting to have to come in defending themselves. And this is what keeps the relationship, you know, but spirit is saying, you know what? No more. 
But this is what keeps the relationship stagnant or keeping someone feeling as if they're at a place of lack. But Spirit, again, is saying no more. We're going to blow the horns on that shit because th this, this is how it's supposed to go. All right. I definitely feel like for some of you all, for some of you all, Spirit is suggesting that you really do need to take that leap of faith. This could have to do with an Aries person. And for some of you all, this is having to do with going back to the past, okay, and resolving issues that kind of went undone or actually getting closure and finding harmony so that you can move on and truly release and release your burdens. Because for some of you all, you're feeling very heavy. Some of y'all are feeling that you're not even really sleeping and you're not talking about this to anybody. You're just holding on to it. But some of you all, this could have to do with the Aries person. Could have to also do with the Capricorn Taurus person. I feel like... um. Some of y'all are just really leaving a burdensome situation and taking a leap of faith because you know that you can prosper on your own. And Spirit is saying in doing so, there are so many blessings to come forward, but you need to make a healthy decision for yourself. Because focusing on how everybody else feel about your decision is really not putting you in the best place. It's making you feel burdened, baby. Okay? And for some of you all, in doing so and taking this leap of faith, okay, taking this leap of faith towards being abundant is going to be victorious. It's going to land you victorious. And in a situation where there's an equal give and take, baby, with the new. And for some of you all, this is renewing some type of family structure, especially if you're dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Neil, Sag, Pisces, Cancer, um, Scorpio. There needs to be some true path before things can actually move forward. And I feel like someone wants to control how things move forward. But in doing so, trying to control how things forward, how things move forward or controlling someone with assets or some type of information. OK, and this could have to do with a third party situation. I feel like someone is holding so much anguish and it has to do with first and foremost, so much so much information regarding two people that weren't that wasn't really shared with one another up front. This could definitely have to do with the mother or father of your child or an Aries or Taurus. For some of you all, you may feel left out. You or this other person. All right. Let me um let me dig a little bit because y'all got a lot of major arcana out here. Yeah. Someone is only stuck on what happened and what once was versus actually looking up and seeing Spirit giving them another opportunity at that renewal. OK, and for some of you all, this is after some form of reconciliation. For some of you all, reconciling with someone is going to trigger some negative aspects, but they need to come to the surface in order for you to really truly talk about it and let someone know how you felt. Because with in all of these cards that's here, y'all, can I tell you that I have only sword card that is here, to be honest with you, signifying communication is this damn three of swords. So for some of you all, if you're dealing with an air sign, you're dealing with a third party situation where there was no equal give and take, but it had to do with manipulation, people trying to control. It's a whole bunch of I'm going to show you ass energy and ended up showing your, showing both of you all when there was so much love in the situation, like an opportunity miss. And now both parties are feeling that opportunity miss matters, not the damn sign. OK. All right. Yeah. And the Ace of Swords. All right. And the, under the Ace of Swords, I got the Seven of Swords. OK. So I definitely feel in order to truly heal the situation with this four swords here, in order to truly heal the situation here, there's going to have to be a conversation had about some form of deception, deceit or some or some type of vulnerability had about how someone felt. OK. Why is the Empress here with the Sun card? Two cards fail. Huh. Secret is, the gist is, look, the jig is up. Secret is, someone wants to move forward, possibly from another, from, from a job situation, move forward to something new, something that they love, that they're passionate about, and they are going to be abundant in doing so. There's a fear of letting go for those people who this is a financial thing with. But for this, with love, I feel like, secret is, I secretly want to come and work on this and make it new again. Offer this situation love. First off, I have the emperor and the empress here. So you two are divine counterparts. Okay, this is possibly a divine masculine, divine feminine energy. I got Libra, Pisces, Taurus, Aries, um, fucking who else on the damn board? Um, Leo here, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio are here. 
Um, but yeah, I feel like what needs to not happen, because I definitely feel like communications are going to be coming in fast. What needs not to happen is recklessness. Okay. For some of you all, this could be also involving a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Fuck everybody here. Okay. But it's, yeah, I was going to ask about the emperor. And again, I said divine counterpart, the ace of cups, divine counterparts. This could have to do with a uh, divine masculine, divine feminine. And let me tell you something with that twin flame shit, past life soulmates, you don't run shit. Spirit is all in the sauce. Okay. Why is the judgment here? Why is the judgment here? Yeah. Should I finish this shit or should I not? Because I'm fucking tired. But if I put in them same damn three pinnacles that work of progression, that work in expansion of doing something that I didn't do the first time, either you or the other person, we can have this victory. Because what's preventing one from feeling like this is another party feeling like there's no equal give and take. And there are children everywhere in your car. So I definitely feel like this is involving children. A new beginning, family structure, a, something stable. But for some of you all, you're going to have to cut something or someone out in order to get this. For some of you all, it's about having an honest conversation and cutting. If you're going to cut out some, cut that bullshit because it's not benefiting the situation or you're growing from it. It's only hurting you. Okay? That's my advice. Cut that bullshit. Outcome. Hmm, told you it's a twin flame transformation. For some of you all, this could involve a Gemini. Okay? Transformation. What is it that I want? This is how I feel. Straight to it. I need this because I know I'm dreaming of this. So I know this belongs to me. We're going to cut that bullshit because I also know we have many soulmates in this life. So try me. Okay? So, with that said, you guys, I love you all. It's been a blessing being able to dig in your energy today or whatnot or whatever. If you need a personal reading, that information can be found below. And I see you all peace, blessings, nothing but love. And I see you all for the mid-month. Bye-boo. Namaste.